Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of My Garage Roleplay. Alright, so we just uh, topped up our shop truck's tank here with gas. And yeah, we are ready to continue on our way to the junkyard. Because today I'm going to go scavenge for some parts for the Chevy Chevelle. So hopefully we will find some of the parts we need because obviously I can't buy new parts for it because my money is quite low. But yeah, luckily we did get paid as well for the job we did uh, in the last episode as well as um, for fitting the body kit to Uncle Richard's car. So that is a little bit of extra money in our pocket. So yeah, we are sitting at $1,250. So yeah, that is not the, a lot of money, but we can at least probably get some parts to get our car running. So one of the key things I'm looking for is a muffler that will fit on the inline 6. So I'm probably going to have a look and see if I can find any type of exhaust that will fit to that uh, flange of the inline 6. Uh, it must be a, a left hand orientated exhaust muffler. So. Yeah, we're gonna have a look out for one of those and also I need a leaf spring as well as a torsion bar and a couple of odd bits on the suspension like the steering link, the steering box, steering uh, arm as well as tie rods, tie rods uh, for both sides so I think that'll probably improve the drivability a bit and also I need to look out for some brake rotors because I think my one at the back left is broken so if I can find a good one of those, we'll, well, we'll be off to a good start. And hopefully then the car will be drivable. So that all depends on what we are able to find today at the junkyard. So it's just a little past 8 in the morning, so I quarter past 8, so they should be open already. And yeah, once again, Uncle Richard did give me a hundred dollars for the gas and also for another car wash. But this time I decided to do it after I've been to the junkyard. Because we're also going to have a look out for a taillight and a tailgate for our shop truck. So if we do stumble across something, yeah, we'll probably pick that up as well. Alright, so yeah, here we are. hours later all right so yeah that has been quite the experience looking for all of these parts so but yeah i think i did manage to find most of what i need so yeah i already started putting some of it in the truck over there so i did get the tailgate but unfortunately i couldn't find any daylights uh, that were in one piece because most of them were all broken so yeah we will basically have a lot of parts to carry back with us so I'm gonna try and see if I can mount this thing so as for the taillight I'll probably end up ordering a new one from the shop because they aren't that expensive and yeah it's not really on my pocket you know so yeah I think the tailgate is gonna help a little bit more um, just to make sure that we don't get pulled over by the cops too much. Alright, so I did found an exhaust for the inline 6, but yeah, I'm not too sure if it's going to fit on our car. We'll see. Uh, so hopefully that won't fly out. Uh, we also got a leaf spring which we needed. So that is definitely going to improve the ride height. Uh, so what else we got? We've got the torsion bar, which I also need. So this is definitely a part that is crucial. Alright, so we've got our one front shock absorber. And we've got the rear shock absorber over here. And then two tie rods and a steering box and the steering arm. So I'm hoping that will pretty much sort out our handling on the car once we start to drive it. Uh, I'm just going to grab these into the backpack because they are small enough. 
And yeah, I think that is basically us done for today at the junkyard. It took me quite some time to get all of these parts. So we are basically into the third hour spending time at the junkyard. So I think it's a good time to start going home. Alright, so yeah, we've got quite a long drive to go. So let us be off. Alright, so we are coming up to the car wash up ahead. I think there's still the, yeah, the cop is still here. So I don't know, this guy has been sitting here for quite some time now couple of hours maybe he's uh, visiting somebody here I don't know all right so yeah we're gonna just pull this through the car wash and hopefully yeah our tailgate also cleaned up now I guess we'll see once we get back to the shop it doesn't look like there's anybody in the cop car We are going to make our way back to the shop and see if we can get our parts fitted to our car and hopefully get it in some sort of a driving condition. Okay, so here we are. Hopefully we didn't lose any of our parts. Alright, yes, I see I did actually lift it up all the way. Okay, so I'm just going to park up here. Let's jump out and just, I think first of all, let me offload. Oh, look at that. Yeah, this rear bumper, it's a little bit out of place. So, let me maybe just drop these parts in the back of the truck for now. Alright, so yeah, let's see if our drive shaft arrived. Because this thing needs some work to the drive shaft. Uh, okay, so it should be back here. Alright, so there it is. And we still need to go and pick up some shells for this room. I think it'll be a little bit better if we've got some proper space for all these parts so that they can actually deliver it and put it on the shelves for us uh, I need the toolbox obviously all right so oh there it is <clears throat> let me just dive into here okay so just grab our wrench and see if we can get this drive shaft out of the car. All right, come on. There we go. All right, so another used part we can go and scrap eventually. And hopefully our new replacement drive shaft will fit. Beautiful. Alright, so there we have it. I think that is all of the bolts tightened down. And we should be able to take it for a quick drive around the parking lot just to see if the noise is better. Oh, that drive shaft was very, very worn. It's actually rusted completely. Alright, let's get these lift arms away. Alright, there we go. Okay, those diesel glow plugs always gets me. Alright, let's go and see if this thing is a little bit quieter now. Don't hear anything. Alright, yeah, I believe 
that is job well done. Alright, so we can just call the customer quickly and let her come and pick up her car. Because this is a ladies Mercedes Benz. As you can tell by the paint job in the interior. Alright, so yeah, we are going to give her a call and tell her that her car is ready. And then we can start working on our Chevy Chevelle over here. Which needs quite a bit of work. Alright, so... Hmm, I'm not going to bother about that. That wasn't part of my job. Okay, so... I believe this is payment for this job because I think Uncle Richard said he's going to give me the money in advance for this job. Alright, so yeah, we are basically up a little bit of money and all of these parts that I bought, they were actually under $500, believe it or not. So yeah, that is actually a very big score for us. So first of all, I think what we need to do is get this thing up in the air and yeah basically start taking broken parts off and slapping on the newer parts basically new to us now unfortunately I didn't find a rear axle yet so that is fine but I did find a brake rotor for this side so that one is completely toast this one looks okay and I believe the two front ones are very thin, but they are not broken. Okay, this one seems to be okay. So, yeah, luckily I can replace most of these. The steering box, the steering link, the steering arm. Uh, I don't think I found this actually, but that's fine. Hopefully that one will still work a little bit. But my th biggest concern is whether this exhaust will fit on our car. Because if this doesn't fit, yeah, I'm basically gonna have to look for another muffler well it kind of fits it's a little bit short but that'll have to do for now because unfortunately that is the only thing that I could find all right I think that was the alarm clock that went off in the office in the background. Okay, so we are going to grab this old leaf spring. Because this thing is toast. Come on, come on. There we go. Just a little bit of fidgety to get this thing in. Oh, another thing I actually forgot to show off, um, I did uh, mess around a little bit with the wheel rim that was in the trunk of the car. So I took the sandblaster to this thing and it actually looks pretty good. So I might have to do it with all of these to get all the rust off. But yeah, I'll first check with Uncle Richard if I can use those wheels that came off the El Camino here. But I think that'll be very nice for us if we can have at least all four the same tires on all corners, although they are not the best condition. Okay, did I tighten all of these bolts? Yeah, it looks like it. Can't remember if I tightened this one. Alright, there we go. That is done. Okay, so let's take off this shock absorber, which is also an old bad part. Alright, so where's our new, new to us one? I think it's just a little too far. Alright, so let's grab this one. So I'm sure this will fit. There we go. Perfect. Alright, so slowly but surely we are getting there. Yeah, I might have to order some brake hoses, but those I think I'm just going to get new. Because they are very inexpensive and also they... Yeah, they are a very important part. Alright, so we're going to take that off. Let's take it off over here. So we are 
I'm going to reuse this. So hopefully that will still work for a little bit until we can either find a used one or a new one. Okay, so let's go about steering arm. I think this thing is also going to have to go on first. Uh, so there are two bolts, one at the top and one at the bottom. There we go. Alright, so that is gone. Okay, let's get this one mounted. Alright. And let's go and grab our two tie rods that we found. Uh, obviously, I have to mount the steering box first. Uh, let me just grab the new, newer steering box. Okay, so that has got two bolts over here. Yeah, this is such an easy job on a lift. I wouldn't have imagined to try and do this on the ground. Okay, so yeah, I kind of did have to take it off on the ground from those cars, but I mean, stripping the parts off, you just dive into it and loosen all the bolts you can see, and then don't worry about the other parts that falls off the car. Okay, so let's grab our other tie rod over here. Let's get that mounted in. Okay, now where's this bolt? Yeah, these used tie rods are sometimes a little bit finicky. Let me just pull this wheel off quickly. Maybe I can see what I'm doing. Yeah, no idea. I think maybe because it came from the junkyard. Anyway. Alright, because I don't think we're going to be driving this thing today. So hopefully they'll just stay put for now. Alright, let's see if the other one is a bit better. Alright, so there's the bolt on that one. But no bolt visible on this one. Interesting. Okay, well, I'm not gonna break my head about it now. Let's see what else we've got. Oh, we've got our other shock absorber. Uh, it's for the passenger side. Alright, so there it is, and should get it up here. Right, so there we have it. Now I might have to check where that bolt is from the top. And we've got a torsion bar and a brake rotor. So let's put this brake disc or brake rotor. Uh, I think it's this one. We need to replace this one. Okay, so we need screwdriver. I'm probably gonna have to take off the caliper first anyway, so let's just do that. Yeah, we need to get some brake pads as well. Okay. Well, this brake brake at the back wasn't working anyway, so there is that. Now, what am I doing? Let me grab the rotor and just tighten that up. 
All right, so there we have it. So, yeah, I guess I'm going to have to probably just slap this on as is at the moment. I'll go and buy a set of brake pads and stuff. Maybe in the next episode. Once we don't have uh, a lot going on. Okay, what else do we have? Just a torsion bar. We will need a pry tool for that. Right, let's grab it from here. Okay, so it's this one. There we go. Out with the old and in with the not so very new, but better than it was. Alright, so now let's lower this thing down and see what uh, we missed. Because I think those bolts, well the tie rod one and the shock absorber one. I didn't reach the shock absorber one yet. And I don't know where the bolt is for the tie rod. Because that is also out of whack. Alright, let's see. Okay, that makes sense. It's just a little bit back. As for this tyrod bolt, yeah, I've got no idea where this sits. But yes, we definitely need to get some brake pads and maybe I'll replace the front left caliper as well. Uh, both our hubs are also shot and that spindle on that side isn't looking too hot either. But I think now we can at least try and start this thing up and see if it sounds a little bit better. So let's hope she still cranks. Yeah, that doesn't sound too bad. So yeah, if you guys are enjoying this episode, drop some comments down below and also if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, I uh, do ask that you consider doing so, because yeah, we're going to do a lot of more episodes on this roleplay series, I've got a lot of plans actually, and I have also received a couple of suggestions already, which I will be implementing, so yeah. I don't know why I just threw it in the trash, but I think it's just going to be a little bit easier to clean up now at the moment. So just grab all of this and dump it in the trash and we'll get a little bit of money for recycling. Okay, so yeah, that is fine. Uh, I do see these tires are losing air, so we might have to air that up a bit. I can probably just put this in the back room over here as well with all our other parts. Alright, so let me just grab the tire pump. Uh, where's the toolbox now? Oh, it's still over here. Okay, so we are just going to air up our tires again. sorry about that I just had a quick phone call so that was Uncle Richie he says one of his friends uh, close to his house actually has a very cheap car that he wants to sell and he said if I wanted to go and have a look at it and if I'm interested he would um, give me the money for it because apparently it's very cheap it's only $500 but he says there's not much going on with it so he said we can jump in the shop truck and go and have a look at it so yeah i think let's quickly offload this and then 
we'll make our way over there and just see what this car is about. Alright, so yeah. I don't think I'm going to take the trailer. We're just going to drive over there and just basically have a quick gander at it. So it's on the other side of the island, so I think I'll meet up with you guys once we are close to there. Alright, so we are apparently very close to this guy's house. Um, he said it's a big blue house up on a hill to the right along the beach. So he said we should be able to see it. So I'm just going to take it nice and easy past here and see if we can spot the house. So apparently this car we are going to have a look at was his son's car. Um, his son didn't take very good care of it. So yeah, I think that's the house up there. I just saw it. Just looking for the driveway. There should be a driveway to a house like that. Should be it up here. Yeah, probably. I believe this should be it. Damn, it's got a steep driveway. Okay, well, oh, I see a little car sticking out over there. Is that a little Lara Coupe? Alright, well, let's hop out and have a quick look at this thing and see what it's all about. And we just had the truck washed. Anyway. Alright, so that is indeed $500. Yeah, it's a little bit hard to tell because this thing is quite overgrown in the grass over here. I do see some tools inside. Let me have a peek inside if I can see something. Oh, no steering wheel. Yeah, this thing is pretty much a wreck. I don't know, is it worth it for $500? Can we open the hood? Well, there is a kind of an engine in here. Let's just have a look, because I see something over here. Is that a... Yeah, that's a hole in the block, in the engine block. So, my guess is, young fella ran it off out well. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Our oh, transmission seems to be in good condition. Uh, let's just see. I'm surprised this thing didn't have a performance carburetor on. Okay, so... Uh, we are missing a tire on this end. Uh, we've got a wheel on there. Uh, seems to be a wheel there. Yeah, I don't know. I can't... Yeah, I can't tell. There doesn't look like there's anything on this corner. Uh, some tint on the windshield over there, on the windscreen on the side. There's a little bit of tint on that one too, I see. Anything in the trunk? Yeah, it comes with a, a flashlight. That still works. And we've got... What the heck is this? High performance crankshaft. So yeah, and there's a couple of tools. Oh, there's an alternator in here as well. Uh, there's an air pump. So yeah, I think for all the parts that we have in this thing, uh, and it's got racing stripes, so that probably adds five horsepower. So yeah, just looking at all the tools and everything inside the car for five hundred dollars, I think that is not the worst deal. And considering the engine is almost complete, from what I can tell. Because this would be a nice little run around car for driving up and down. But I know I just bought the Chevelle. But maybe this could be a start of a project for us. Just to get it going first of all. And then maybe we can restore it and yeah, maybe even sell it on. Because... I think it's quite cheap fixing up these little LADOS and 
the parts are available like immediately everywhere so yeah maybe drop some comments down below what do you think do you think uh, this is a good deal would you take on something like this for five hundred dollars i mean yeah that's it's actually quite obvious so yeah i think i'm gonna have a chat to uncle richie and see if i can make an appointment with these people to come and pick it up at some point and i'll probably have to take an advance because yeah well i know i did get paid but i don't want to just spend all of my money on on vehicles at this stage because i'm still trying to get one of them going so yeah who knows um maybe i should buy this so yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna maybe have to go and sleep on it so yeah but i think i'm going to wrap up the episode over here so yeah thank you very much for watching i do appreciate every review and every like and also if you haven't subscribed to the channel please consider doing so because yeah we really do appreciate it and yeah keep those uh, suggestions coming because i think eventually we're going to end up having a, a very nice roleplay series going over here and we can get up to all sorts of things like this you know project cars all over the place and yeah but that'll be it for me from now so until the next time cheerio